It's common knowledge that water is essential for good health, and, you know, life. But there is a limit to how much water humans can drink, and once that limit is passed, there's no swimming back. Water intoxication is also referred to as hyperhydration, water toxemia, and water poisoning. There isn't a set number indicating when you've drank too much water, but drinking more than 1 liter per hour isn't recommended. Kidneys of a healthy adult can only flush 20 to 28 liters of water per day at a rate of 1 liter per hour. Drink more than a liter, and your kidneys can't keep up. The first signs of water intoxication include head pain, cramping, spasms, weakness, nausea, vomit, drowsiness, and fatigue. In severe cases, water intoxication leads to seizures and loss of consciousness. As fluid builds up in the body, all cells, including brain cells, begin to swell. Swelling in the brain can lead to comas, seizures, and death if left untreated. Brain cells are surrounded by the skull and share this space with cerebrospinal fluid. Cells swell due to hyponatremia, which occurs when water dilutes the sodium in your bloodstream. In 2007, a 28-year-old California woman, Jennifer Strange, died competing in a radio station's on air water drinking contest called Hold Your Wee for a Wee, where she held in her urine after drinking excessive amounts of water to win a gaming console. Drinking mass amounts of water alone does not lead to hyponatremia. Vasopressin, an antidiuretic hormone instructing the kidneys to conserve water, is released by the hypothalamus during times of physical stress, such as marathons or exercise. Paired with increased water intake, cells begin to swell, and if left untreated, could result in death.